how to approach someone without being creepy. Now, if you clicked on this video, chances are you've probably been in a situation where maybe you were at a party, maybe you were at a coffee shop, or, or maybe you were just on the street and you saw someone that you wanted to talk to. Maybe it was someone that you didn't know, maybe it was someone that you kind of knew. How do you start a conversation with somebody in a non-creepy way and possibly even be able to get her phone number or something like that? Can you do that in today's day and age? Well, actually, you can. It is very possible. People just don't want you to be creepy. So it's good that you clicked on this video because you know that acting creepy really upsets people. It's not a good thing. It's not a good feeling to feel like the creep either. So I'm going to give you five steps. Five. If you follow these steps, you will not be seen as creepy. You will be able to walk up and talk to women or talk to a stranger in your everyday life um, without coming off as that creep. And you might be able to form a connection with them. Get a phone number, maybe go on a date later. Who knows? All right, so let's get into the first step. The first step is when you're approaching someone, approach with 100% conviction, okay? How's it going, you guys? Hello. Are you building? Oh, you're digging a hole. I am digging a hole. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I'm digging a hole in the sand. Well, it's a very large hole. I know. But if you go in and you hesitate, <laughs> you're basically shooting yourself in the foot, okay? You're acting unconfident, hesitating, kind of walking around. Like, that's the kind of stuff that people usually interpret as being creepy. Why? Because you're not being congruent with your actions. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But basically, when you're being congruent, when you're going for things that you want with 100%, it's seen as a lot better. For instance, if I walked up to someone and I was like, uh, hi, um, my name's Lloyd. That would probably freak some people out. However, if I walked up and was like, hey, how's it going? My name's Lloyd. Yeah, I just saw you over there. I thought I'd come say hi. That feels a lot better and a lot more comfortable for most people than the first one. Because if you're up to something, chances are you're gonna hesitate and feel a little nervous about it. So if you're gonna go in, go in with 100%. If you feel like you're gonna mess up, mess up with 100% conviction, all right? Now, thing two is gonna be to approach someone who you think might wanna be approached. Like, this is, this is, what you think looks good on This you. is definitely more feminine. Yeah, but, but I feel like this guys one be, can wear that. You think guys can pull this off? Yeah. Okay, don't just approach anyone. If she has her cap on, her head down, her headphones in, and she's on a run, don't approach her. If she's in an intense conversation with her friend, they're both looking at each other, they're both talking, they're not looking around, probably should let them have their conversation. All right? Now, if you walk up to someone, though, and they're maybe looking around... They're kind of checking it out. Maybe they're in a conversation, but they're paying attention towards other things. Or maybe they look at you, <laughs> right? That's an invitation, or maybe not necessarily an invitation, but that's an indication that she might want someone to come up and talk to them. So if you look for these things, and I guarantee you they're happening a lot more than you think. In fact, I would recommend that you just kind of walk outside and see how many of these looks that you can get. Not necessarily to you, but see how many people might be open to a conversation. Uh, you're going to see a lot more than you think. So for me, even in my own life, I rarely will get someone that like looks right at me and smiles. Um, but I will see a lot of people with their heads up and maybe they're looking around or maybe they would be open to talking to somebody, okay? So when I approach someone, it's a lot more likely that they're gonna be ready for a conversation, they're gonna be more open to that because their body language is more open. Number three is to keep your distance at first. So with the new rules now, we're not supposed to invade six feet, you know, when we first meet somebody. I've always been doing that, okay? If you're closer than that, chances are you're probably invading somebody's space because they don't know you. You know, you're a stranger. So keep your distance at least for a little bit. In fact, you should probably be farther than six feet depending on the situation. Like if I'm at the beach and, you know, girl's wearing a bikini or something like that, I'm probably going to stand a little bit apart uh, just to make her feel more comfortable because she's maybe feeling a little bit exposed, especially if she's alone or something like that. It's good food and it's like a lot of good vegan options. And I saw that documentary, Cowspiracy, so I was like scared out of my mind and I was like, all right, I'm going to go vegan for a week and I'll see if I can do it. And I did it and I was like, yeah, I'm going back to meat. <laughs> uh, so keep your distance at first and when they get more comfortable with you, then you can come closer. You know, typically I like to uh, walk up and talk to somebody, not directly in front of them, but kind of like maybe stand at a little bit of like an angle, maybe like 45 degrees or something like that, because up front it sounds a little confrontational, from behind it feels a little predatory, uh, and to the side just feels a little weird. So, you know, I like to come in from a little bit from an angle, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, don't stress about that sort of stuff. Just make sure you keep a little bit of distance at the beginning, and then when they feel more comfortable, when they square up, then you can get a little bit closer. Number four, if something happens, address it. So if you're talking to someone and something crazy happens, maybe somebody spills a drink on them, maybe a stranger or a bum comes in out of nowhere and you just ignore it and you pretend like nothing happened and you keep talking, that's going to be seen as really weird and creepy because obviously this is something that should be addressed, you know? Don't just be keep talking while someone spilled a drink on her and she's trying to manage the situation. You're like, so anyway, my name's Lloyd. I was just coming, coming over here because I thought you were cute. Like, 
dude, that's gonna be so weird. Be like, oh my god, are you okay? Like, do you like let's get her some napkins or something like that? Like, that would be a more appropriate reaction. Okay, um, address things as they happen. Typically, when guys get into this mode, is because they're too in their head. So I have a lot of other videos where I talk about how to get out of your head uh, and be able to have a real conversation and you know be in the moment when you're talking to somebody. Okay, uh, if they look like they're about to leave or you know they're in the middle of something and you just continue talking and pretending like nothing's happening, then that's gonna seem weird as weird as well too. So if I see someone who's trying to leave, I'm like, oh, you got to be somewhere right now. She's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm meeting with a friend. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, is your friend that way? All right, cool. Well, I'm walking this way too. Let's talk. I'll go on yeah, the journey to here. that bathroom because that's the closest one there, and we'll all go. We'll have a great time. Also, I'm gonna find a corner. Okay. Let's let's go on the journey there. What's your name? I'm Lloyd. Nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet you. So now we can talk at the same time, but she can also get to her destination. You know, it's being able to handle situations like that. Um, that's just going to make it a lot easier for you and less creepy. All right, number five is to leave them better than when you found them. If you're leaving people better than when you found them, it's basically going to show that you're a person that is bringing joy into people's lives rather than making them feel worse. Okay, when I go out, I'm not make, trying to make people's lives worse. I'm trying to make it better. So when I do this, I usually end on a high note, maybe give them a high five. Even if the interaction didn't go that well, I'm like, cool. Well, thanks for listening to me. Thanks for being awesome. Give them a high five. Who doesn't want a compliment and a high five when they go? I know with COVID, maybe not a high five, maybe an elbow bump or whatever they feel comfortable with. Just end on a positive note, man. You know, even if they ignore you, even if they were a little rude to you, don't be rude back to them. Um, if you end when people are feeling good and positive towards you when you leave, you're going to feel that much more confident for the next conversation. Sometimes I'll go out and maybe I'll talk to five different people uh, or five different women and you know I don't get any phone numbers or something like that but I brightened up each of their day I'm gonna feel really good leaving those five interactions and then the sixth one I guarantee you I'm gonna feel a lot more confident going into that one and almost always when I'm in a good mode when I'm in the flow state you know things happen naturally and things happen really well but it only happens when you're leaving things on a positive note and making people feel better when you leave them. Thank you, hey, of course yeah <laughs> Bye. All right, so the five things again. Number one is to walk up with 100% confidence. Number two is to make sure you're approaching somebody who you think might want to be approached by their body language. Number three is to keep your distance and don't invade their personal space right away. Number four is if something happens, address it. You know, stay present to the moment. And number five is to leave them better than when you found them. All right, cool. So those are the five things. If you do all of those things, I guarantee you guys, you're not going to be seen as creepy. People are going to appreciate you walking up and talking to them. And look, man, not every interaction is going to go splendid and smooth. So a little bit of awkwardness is okay. Don't beat yourself up. But remember, creepiness is incongruency. If you're doing things that are incongruent with what you want and you're being disrespectful towards other people, that is going to be seen as creepy. And you can definitely walk up and talk to strangers, people that you don't know without doing those things. Cool. All right. Well, if you do this, you're probably going to be getting a lot more phone numbers. You're probably going to be getting a lot more positive interactions with women. So I highly recommend you check out my other videos where I talk about how to do that sort of stuff and check out the practical approaching system, which is videos where you've probably seen some small clips of this where I talk exactly about how to do that. I break down those videos. So I highly recommend you check the link down below uh, if you want to learn more about that. Cool. All right. Good luck out there, you guys.